Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. And just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson. And get ready. We're about to begin. Years ago, when my grandfather and my uncle, used to, who were carpenters, used to try to find out where the studs were in a wall, they would do this. Do you ever see anybody do that? What they're doing is, is they're listening for the hollow spot. This sounds hollow. This sounds like it's got something behind it. That sounds hollow again. And then they'd say, oh, it's, it's got to be within here. And they wouldn't know exactly where it was, so then you would see a series of little holes that they would try out with a nail and a hammer. There's the stud. And from there, back then, everything was 16 inches on center as far as the stud location. The next stud would be 16 inches over this way. The next stud would be 16 inches over this way. But now we've got stud finders. Stud finders are nice, and this particular one cost me about $20. And not only does it tell me where the wood is as far as the stud, but it also tells me where there's an electrical line too. Now, I'm going to put this up here. I'm just going to, now I'm going to push the button. And now it says it's ready. And I'm going to slide it over. And that tells me that there's a stud right there. It tells me that the stud starts here. and ends about here. So, if that's the case, I'm going to put a little mark there with my pencil. And that's the last thing I want to do is load up a wall filled with pencils. So what I did was, I am going to tear off a piece of painter's tape and put it where I think the stud is. Okay? Now, is this the only time I do it, just the one time through? No, you're going to do it a couple times through just to make sure. So I'm going to go just I'm going to go just right around it. I'm going to try it again. Okay. It looks like it's right on the edge. And then it stops again. Okay, so I know that the stud, the side of it is here. Let's go over a little bit and see what happens. There, there we go. There's a stud, it starts here, and it ends there. All right, so I know that there's another stud right there. So I'll take my tape, and I'm gonna tear off a piece. And there it is. Okay, so between here and here, 16 inches. So finding studs nowadays is much easier, especially using a stud finder. Oh boy, there are some elaborate ones and there are some really crappy cheap ones too. Depending on what your application is, are you constantly finding studs? Then go ahead and buy the good one. If you're using it every once in a while, buy what you need. Buy what you need for the time. Now, I like to go middle of the road. So I bought this one here, 20 bucks. And I've had this one here, and I've changed the battery once in it, and I've had it over five years. And that's how long it, this thing lasts, and it's very, very good. I like it a lot. So this one is a Zircon, Z-I-R-C-O-N, and I got this over at, um, at Home Depot. Of course, they're available at Lowe's and Menards and probably your local hardware store as well, like Ace or something like that. But buy one of these because it's better than putting in a bunch of holes in here when you're trying to hang a, a picture in a room that really looks nice and now you got a bunch of holes behind the, the picture. No, that's not really nice. It's not really professional. And something like this will be really good for your tool bag. So you'll use it more than you think. You can do something like this. This is easy. 
If you would please subscribe, 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 subscribe. There's some sort of a button down here, I'm sure. Uh, if you would push that, that'd be great. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next video.